All right, so my name is Susanna. Great to see you all again. Um, as I said before, I'm from Seattle. So I thought I would take this time to educate us all on making coffee, but specifically making French press. There's multiple ways um, to make coffee. There's pour over, drip. Today we're going to learn how to do French press. And it does affect the taste. Um, I would say French press is more of uh, tends to have a stronger taste, um, and maybe even like a thicker consistency at times. It's kind of my I, my personal favorite. So today that's going to be what we're doing. The um, ingredients that you would need, I guess you could say the ingredients, is you need some way to heat up your water. This is literally my lifesaver. Ladies, tea, coffee, adrenaline as well in the dorm room. My lifesaver. You'll also need water. Obviously, you can use from a faucet, but I had to bring a bottle of water for class today. Then your coffee. I bought a French roast, which is important because the grounds are not going to be as fine as normal. Um, there are kinds that you can get. If you can get any kind of roast, but just make sure that the grinds are not finely ground. That's something to watch out for when getting that. And then again, you have to have. That's important, guys. <laughs> so this is like 10 bucks from Target, or no, TJ Maxx. And I also love this. It's really great for being in the dorm because it's small. The normal ones are like, tend to be big, but this really fits well on like my desk. And then I've got um, a mug this morning and a spoon. So I'm going to put this down here. And let's get into the process. First, you're going to open up your water and put that into the kettle, I guess you would say. And I don't need as much water. I don't need to fill this very full because obviously this is a little bit smaller. Um, does it make, it needs like one cup, honestly. And I can plug this in back here. Okay. So I have that going, and that'll heat that up in a couple um, minutes, which is really nice. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your coffee. Again, a reminder, make sure that it's not finely ground. Because what will happen is there is a, um, I'm not sure exactly what you would call this, but the, the grinds have to, if they're too fine, they'll go through. So you're going to want to open up your bag. Of coffee. I'm sorry if I'm distracting you with my lozenge. I'm feeling a little bit sick right now. The more I talk, the more prone I am to coffee. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure about four spoonfuls. <coughs> I like a, a like darker coffee. So if if you like your coffee to be lighter, I maybe do like two to three. But so, I'm going to do one, two, two. As you can hear, the water is boiling up. Three. And four scoops. And I'll just close up this. you can kind of see about how how high that is within this and again just as like as I said according to how dark you like your coffee and your how light you can really adjust to taste and also on the back of most of these um, they'll kind of give you a ratio if that's something you'd like to follow the exact um, amount and the water is boiling so I have to take this off what you're going to want to do now is take your boiled water and fill up the French press. It's about there. And in this process of the coffee making, you're going to want to let this sit for about three to five minutes. And again, the longer that you sit, the darker it will get. Um, and so for me, I would probably let it sit for like about five minutes. Um, the least that I would say would be three minutes. 
right for a, a good a good cup. I like this is kind of just a funny trick, but I like to shake it a little bit because um, if you shake it, then it starts to foam at the top, and I really like that flavor in my coffee. Some people also like to take their spoon and stir it, which um, also will create a little bit of a foam at the top. This is not a necessary step, but it's something that you can do if you, if you want. And let's just say, for time's sake, that this has sat for three minutes. What you're gonna do is you're gonna, now gonna take this, and this is really important that it lays flat. Um, otherwise, the grounds will get up in the side, and that's just disgusting if you're drinking your coffee with the coffee grounds all over it. So you're going to want to hold this on the top, and you're going to want to push down slowly. Again, if you force it down, the grinds are going to come up the sides again. So just make sure to push down slowly and try to keep this flat. Mine's inexpensive, so sometimes it will... Um, get all like wobbly. But here now you have your, your cup and you can just pour it into your glass. And if you like to put honey in your coffee, which not a lot of people do, but I highly recommend it. It tastes amazing. And some people really like cream and sugar. The last important thing I would say is make sure that you pour all of it out quickly because the longer that it sits, the more time it has to soak in more flavor and oftentimes it can kind of get a dirty or bitter taste. Um, so yeah, that was an example today how to make French press. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for